Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a soil mechanics problem, and in particular, this is a soil consolidation problem. And here's what the problem says. It says a sample of sand has a relative density of 44% with a solid specific gravity of 2.85. The minimum void ratio is 0.42, and the maximum void ratio is 0.96. Most nearly, what is the specific weight of the sand in the saturated condition? And then we see our options there, uh, A through D. Uh, so the trick to this question is to remember what we're looking for, right? We need to solve for the specific weight of the sand in the saturated uh, condition. So what that means is we need to solve for gamma saturated, so gamma sat. And uh, to find this formula, I guess we'd go ahead and write it out here. We have our specific gravity uh, plus our void ratio times gamma of water, specific weight of water, over 1 plus our void ratio. Uh, and you can find this formula in the PE under section 3.8.3 or page 139. And for the FE, you're going to be looking in page 259. Okay. Uh, so we noticed that we have, you know, our specific gravity. We know that. We know our gamma water. But what we don't know is the E. So we're going to have to find an equation uh, that, you know, we can solve for E for. Um, and ultimately, if you look at the hints given in the problem, we know that it's going to have something to do with the relative density. So what we can do is we can use control F to solve for our relative density or to find our relative density formula. And when you do that, we're going to go ahead and write the equation down. It's dr is equal to minus E over our E max minus our E min. Okay, and uh, notice that we know our dr, we know, that we know e max, we know e min, all we have to do is solve for e. This formula is in PE 5.5.1 or page 281. So you can look at either of those. For the FE, you're going to be looking in page 260. Okay. So like I said, you know, you're going to have to get familiar without uh, looking in those books. You're going to have to control F to find things. And especially since we're transitioning to computer-based testing, uh, it's very important to understand, you know, what kind of terminology you need to be control Fing or control finding. Uh, so with that said, we need to solve our relative density equation for E. And when you do that, you're going to end up with E equal to a negative dr. Uh, times your E max minus your E min. And we're going to multiply that, or sorry, add. We're going to add E max to that. Very good. And when we plug in our numbers, you end up with a minus 0 0.44 times 0 0.96 minus 0 0.42. And all that plus 0 0.96. All right. And so our E ends up being 0 0.7224. And so if we were, you know, if it asked for E, if it asked for our void ratio, we're going to be doing something like that. That's going to be our final answer. But uh, since we're using this in an equation later in our gamma sat, we need to use all four significant digits here. So these are all very important when it comes to rounding. So we're going to use that entire deal. So let me go ahead and scroll down. We're going to plug and chug now. So when we plug and chug, you're going to do your gamma saturated is equal to, and we're just plugging in the numbers, 2.85 minus 0. 7224 and we're multiplying that by our gamma water which is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot. 
very good and we put all that over 1 plus 0 0.7224 and so that ends up being 129.42 pounds per cubic foot and that looks an awful lot like 129 which is answer D. So I hope this video helps and um, we'll catch you next time.